WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, a very sunny, pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We start our day with a mixed bag. The mix goes like this. Dow's trade up 47 points. The S&P's down 20. NASDAQ 100 is down 207 points, a little over 1%. Russell's up 20 cents. Semis are down 114. Trannies are up 84. We've got a mixed bag out there. If we take a look at gold, it's trading off 10 bucks right now with silver being down 40 cents. That's 1 and 3 tenths percent move for silver i'm sorry silver's down to 41 cents i think i said that but natural gas is basically flat out there and the 30-year treasury is up nearly one point it's printed out at 116.14 let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin in the upper left hand side the es mini what do we know about it well it has a, a td9 count top it's got a sell the d point top prices below profile support out here likely to continue to head lower i don't have really a price target out there but we'll take a look at some of the intraday charts and see what we can come up with for you we've got that spot volatility which for the last two days has tested and rejected that 50-day exponential moving average that's the key level out there you want to watch what that closes at day's end if uh, we are trading below 1392 I'm sorry, above 1392, that's a 50, uh, that's the 50 period exponential moving average for the spot fix. If we trade above or close above, I should say 1392, odds favor a further move lower for the S&P 500. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ right now is testing, it's trading well below the bottom of its daily profile. That's at 18508. It may be generating a profile change in trend signal for us, so we'll take a look at that as well. If we take a look at uh, during the Trader's Edge show, if we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's uh, found support in the buy zone of its weekly profile that buy zone is anywhere between 103.49 and 104.31 gold keeps oscillating near the bottom of that new profile there's a new profile that formed a few days ago 2361.50 is support and 2400 is resistance silver even though it's trading lower it's still at this stage here is trading above profile resistance and is more likely than not to go target 3403. It's one to one A to B equals CD price objective. Lightspeed crude is consolidating with inside a new profile that formed yesterday. It is bullish in structure. The support area or the support zone is where it's trading into right now. And that's anywhere between 7698 and 7781. 7988 is resistance that was tested two days ago. We know that is a strong resistance level. In the case of natural gas, it is now trading below the top of a weekly profile out there. And a close this week below $2.61 is going to suggest a move to its buy zone. And that's between 233 and 242. And right now you got the 30 year Treasury trading above profile resistance up at the 116.03 level. If you close above that, you're likely headed higher. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show. But if you have to start your Friday, have a fabulous one. And we we'll look forward to seeing you on Monday. Take care now.